morning. Little bird. Looking sketchy as fuck. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see y'all. This guy. Hi. Walking through Atlanta Airport, headed to meet up with Christian and Pat at the Delta Club. If uh, if I'm correct, I know exactly where they're going to be sitting in the International Delta Club at Atlanta Airport. They're going to be back over there. Nick Culture, please. Sure. Cheers. Thank you. You got it. What's up, man? Cheers, buggers. Good to meet you boys here. Good to see you now. Christian, Pat, be waiting on Kevin here in a few minutes. Kevin, Kevin's coming. Ooh. He does. We, we've been doing this for a long time, and then some guy swoops in with a game-changing oh. idea. <laughs> Dude, duty free, I feel like this is a criminal enterprise. I can't be filming. Hello. What's up? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> this guy. Not much fun. Here we go. Where are we, Kev? We're in, we're in the air over Johannesburg. About to land. About to land. All right. It's pretty exciting. So then we're going to go to Africa Sky. We have a little girl from there. This would be great. What is he doing? Looking sketchy as <laughs> Hey, Pat. When you're done going potty, meet me in the uh, lounge for a beer. Well, when you're done being a gym nerd, come have a beer. Listen, Keith Liger. He didn't make the trip, but he's here in spirit. We always bring him along when we can. We do. Brian Lasenke, just a king amongst men. Hey, good to see you, man. That's being Eddie. Ah, good. it's good to be here. Go on. Yeah, Christian, Rad. Christian Rad. Nice Rad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yesterday, Kevin was like, "I'm not drinking these days." Christian, you wanna? Saving grace when you're following buffalo. I'll tell well, you where it is. For finding buffalo, wounded or not, but especially when that buffalo is wounded, they're going and they're clean near the wound and they're on that thing. And if he's in thick shit like this and you're walking, and the next thing you hear those birds going, look sharp. That's when you start paying attention. So where we are, we are the furthest west. There's uh, the Bluli, and then to the east of the Bluli is Klaseri, and to the east of that is the Timbavati. And then after Timbavati, it is a big famous place where all the animals are. Rhino horn is the most expensive substance on earth per weight. Commodity on earth after human trafficking. Our government has single handedly, with
with the anti-hunters yep. have single-handedly put these animals back on on the on the path to extinction in in the wild. The anti-hunters are so blind to it. If they back in the day could in these regions, you know, allocate three old bulls that are no longer are past their breeding prime where they actually end up killing younger bulls and fighting with them and you realize which bulls you know where they are and you sell that rhino off the amount of money you would get for a free range wild rhino would be ridiculous it's the same as namibia like look what they do with their black rhino there was that one that was sold for three hundred thousand dollars and that went straight to the anti-poaching and upkeep of like rhino of black rhino conservation. You could do the same here with, with white, white, white rhino. I mean, they're blacks here as well, but people have got an emotional attachment to wildlife, which is fantastic to have. But when you think emotionally and you make decisions based on your emotions, Thank you. you are creating a demon. Bartender? Yes, sir. Show off this pack. Still one of the coolest things I've ever seen. There it is. Fuck, boys, we put a dent in this bastard last time. Jesus. Hey, nah. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, it's the same Where can somebody shop this look? <laughs> I don't know. Probably it's a vibe clothing store. So, this is a very African look. And these are authentic African gaiters. And then uh, New Balance skating shoes. And the, the hat came from uh, the local convenience store. We just landed at Umco. Well, not far from Umco. What's up, son? Oh, good. Came in hot, yanking and banking onto this, uh, basically a fairway we just landed this plane on. I uh, hear, yeah, Jason, you got your Buffalo 12 yards. Yeah. And then thereafter, there was some kind of party. Tell me about that party. We went to the game warden's office, and I drank eight beers in his office. And then shat in his wife's toilet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did not know that when I asked if I could use the toilet that he was taking me into his master bedroom while his wife and kids waved at me when I went in there. So this place is fucking awesome. The camp is on the river and tents, quasi tents. It's outdoor dining room and bar and stuff. It's a good time. And we're here with uh, Pat Hemingway, Adam's grandfather with his original rifle he got for his 16th birthday. <laughs> um, this is Jason's little black Betty. Um, it is a nasty little pocket rocket of an 8.6 with Acro P2 on top and aim point. The 3X flip up. Um, for for just absolute maneuverability in the, in the bush, if you look around, you can see that we have been in this thick stuff. Um, Jason wanted to move into position, and Red and I, with both of our experiences, thought there's no fucking way that thing was gonna stand still with Jason moving into position for like five minutes. And creeping old Jason's ass, took him 10 minutes to get in position, then y'all stayed there. Jason lights him up, I see it. Terrific shot. 
Brad's biggest fear. He just found him dead in the ditch about. We only have to drag him up. Let's see, he probably weighs 450 pounds. We gotta drag him up maybe 150 meters a mountain. Making <laughs> oh, my first kill with the uh, Shorty 8.6. Fucking lugged him, huh? Just yeah, smoked. Great. Yeah. I In saw the tight him. stuff, which is what this thing was made to do. Quick nice. little eight six down. burn down. It should be at least eight ten. I don't know. There's not four. much to say about it. There are five he was people. there. I saw him. We stopped. Should be not at least eight. I shot him. At least twelve. He ran very shortly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expired. PH and our official sponsor. Um, this this hunt is sponsored by Jim Green Boots. These lovely Vellies, the Fe Vellies, um, and like any good sponsor. Cheers. 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 Um, we have already uh, christened this hunt. Big boy. Mm. Trip for you? Oh, dude, I, I, I like squealed with laughter. Like I, not, I mean, not laughter, but just like we were just hooting and high fiving and hugging. It was, I mean, it was like a three pointer at the buzzer, you know. The fact that this guy came out and presented a few seconds. Last night of hunting, right before dark. <laughs> Man, doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. He's amazing. A DIY film. Yeah. This is where we eat dinner. Yeah, I live. It's where all the drinking takes place. Here's Rad, upset that he's no longer guide of the year. How far did you get buffalo from? 12 yards. 10 or 12? I don't know. Either or, but you go find some other fucking guy. Something in the. Jeez, sorry, mom. Don't forget to tip your bartender and waitress.